This is the Jagasit Podcast. When a middle-aged man turns 50 or 45 and he starts buying the sports cars and banging the 21-year-olds and the putting on the bad hair pieces and struggling really hard to stay fucking 21 wearing like little garter, you know, girder things to keep their waist smaller and hide it under their fucking shirts. Oh, and, the girdles. Well, yeah, for men. Yeah. They, you know, when they start trying to force themselves to look like they did when they were 21, instead of being like, you know, I'm getting a little bit of a middle aged man spread, I should work out and, you know, but do it in a healthy way. Um, a lot of men get to that point where they look at their wives and they're like, wow, my wife's in her prime now. So I'm just going to cheat on her with someone younger as an insecurity thing. It's crazy you even say that because that happened in Uncle uh, Gems. Yeah. And, and the actress who played. Um, his girlfriend. Her name's Julia Fox. Julia Fox. She's relatively newish, and she's very good. I actually, think that was her premiere role. Yeah, and she actually kind of reminds me of the girl who plays Tara from Buffy. I actually thought it was her, but I'm like, there's no way she's that young still. Yeah. But she was great. Yeah, but, no, she did a very good job. But like, unfortunately, also, The Weeknd was in this movie. He did good, too. Yeah, he did. Uh, but, you know, the reason um, Adam's character, uh, fucking what's his name? Shit, totally left my brain. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll look it up. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, um, his, Adam Scandler had, had that had, yeah, his character had that affair in the movie. Howard Ratner is Howard Ratner. When Howard yeah. slept with that younger woman, it wasn't because so much that he was insecure because his wife was in her prime or anything like that. In this case, it was he was unhappy in his marriage because his wife was sick of his gambling problem. So he starts putting his dick in a younger woman to distract himself from the fact that he's ruining his own life, right. which also does happen sometimes. But because he couldn't embrace where he was and couldn't face he had a problem and ended up ultimately spiraling and ruining his fucking life. Yeah. Yeah. And not to give too much away, I really like recommend people see this movie because it's not it's not predictable. There's a lot of layers to what fucking happens. You're going to be on the edge of your seat the whole time. It's fucking stressful as hell. It's the, like you feel like yeah. you're going through this fucking the worst part is you feel like you're going through his addiction with him, but you know you have control over it and he doesn't. It feels like the movie just doesn't stop. Like the second it is really interesting because if you look at a movie like Fast and the Furious, what's happening on the scene is literally fast things going. Right. But in this movie, what's happening on the scene in, in the screen is actually slower things happening. But the pacing of the film, the editing and the directing is You're such on that journey with him where it feels like his life won't stop. And that's the whole emotional it's a spiral. Yeah. The, the structure of the film is reflective of the emotional state that Howard Ratner is in. And it's based on a true story, too, which is really interesting. Yeah, his his brain never stops. It's always going. It's always trying He's to figure genius, out what that he... next thing is to do, which is why he has so much success in the first place, but it's also why he gets in so much trouble. And that's the thing. It's like the whole movie feels like a really well-written anxiety attack. <laughs> that's a really good... Yeah. The the... <laughs> it's like a well-written anxiety attack. I left that attack. theater. I was with my parents and Charles. We walked out of the theater. I put my coat on and I, I shakily pull a joint out of my pockets yeah, she... and start smoking. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Because first of all, I am like, again, I'm a very introspective and calm person generally. So watching someone ruin their life when I have so much control over mine and I've stopped myself from making horrible mistakes and stuff and you're on this journey with this person ruining their lives it's like watching your friend ruin their life and there's nothing you can fucking do about it right right and you're like what and I mean even though Howard's kind of a piece of shit you sympathize with this character a lot Adam really makes this character very layered and it's like I don't know what the real Howard Ratner was like but fucking a titty fucking Christ dude yeah like that movie, I just can't speak enough about it and just Adam's performances. And like, I just got to be real. Adam, I am so fucking proud of you. If you ever hear this podcast, I'm so fucking proud of you because you've made so many leaps and bounds. Even there were so many people who didn't believe in you. It didn't fucking matter. You've made such a prominent and wonderful career for yourself at every phase of it. I didn't know Uncut Jazz was based on a true story. I just said that a second ago. I know, you, you, but uh, you did say that. I didn't know that. I'm just saying. I didn't, I have, I didn't. Yeah, look it up. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll look it up in a minute. Yeah, let's I, make sure, because I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. Yeah, let me... I just want to... Like, I don't like to mis be wrong. Uncut Gems based... I think it's on a based on a true story. On true story. Let's see. It... Oh, oh no, not, no, 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 it's not. Okay. It's I, not based on any true story, although extensive ESPN footage used in the movie gives it... Then that was my mistake, it guys. It shudders some authenticity. That was my mistake, guys. I thought... I swear to God, I thought it was based on a true story or on a real guy. The script we are told... The script we are told by screenwriters and co-director Josh and Benny... Josh and Benny... Josh and Benny... Uh, Safdie? 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 Was created around those games, not not because of them. Oh, I, I see you. Okay. You can find the Jug of Sip podcast on YouTube and Spotify every Monday and Friday. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow at Jug of Sip podcast on all social media. So